What's up everybody? It's your boy Tommy Tech again with another Mercy Gray aka the Mustang GT mod. Tonight <clears throat> I'm going to be installing the new Hearst short throw shifter. Uh, going over it I'm just making sure I got all the parts I need. Um, I have some grommets like an isolator, uh, shifter, the shifter bolts for this I'll go on here I have a zip tie not exactly sure what I'm gonna need that for just yet shifter handle shifter knob um, looking over it looks like I'm gonna need a few tools get it jacked up which I've already done um, I need a screwdriver just in case I'll need a mallet because I'm at the crossover a couple looks like metal bushings or something like that or whatever they are. Um, I'm gonna need a hex hex wrench, which I haven't got out yet. 3H drive. I have it here somewhere. Maybe I don't. Uh, a couple extensions, some wrenches. It says I need cutting pliers, but we'll see. Okay, the first thing And I'm, I'm going to have to pop the, uh, the shifter boot off like that. And then unscrew this. Actually, I should probably do that first while this is still on. Okay, once you get the handle off the, uh, the leather grommet, you're going to have to uh, pull this rubber boot from under the seal it goes down to the transmission tunnel pull this up all right got this piece off as you can see, you can see down to the uh, where the drive shaft is. And now the next step is going to be to unbolt the stock drive shaft. Let's go underneath and have a look. The next step is to uh, loosen up this bolt right here. It's at the bottom of the shifter. Go ahead and get this around here. It's a 13 mil. All right, I got that bolt out or the nut out. Now the next step is this rod. There's a rod in here. Can't really get a good view of it. Okay, you gotta pull this out out of the stock shifter. And then just let let that rest for now. Okay. Then you're going to come down to the side of the transmission. You're going to loosen that 10 millimeter. I think it's a bolt. Go ahead and loosen that up. All right. Once you get that 10 millimeter bolt out of the, uh, the side of the transmission. There's these 10 millimeter nuts on these studs. It holds this little bracket up here and I think some of them have clips and there's washers so you gotta be careful. Make sure they don't fall on you because you're gonna be reusing this stuff so. They're not very tight. Go ahead and unloosen this. And then after this, we'll move on to the next step. After fighting what felt like almost an hour, I finally got the uh, the little bracket. There's a bracket that goes around here, and then this side of the uh, the little holder thing or whatever it is. And I had to use like a 
flathead screwdriver and a needle nose pliers and a trim tool remover to fight with it to get it off. It was it was hard as heck to get it off, but finally did. Now I can kind of wiggle this down and uh, let's see. All right, guys, I got these side by side, laying them out. You can see how, just looking at it, you can see just by doing this, how sloppy the stock is compared to the hearse shifter. It's a lot more firm, I can I can tell just by looking at it. Now, what I'm gonna have to do next is, uh, these are gonna have to be transferred over to here, these plastic, Pushing flanges or whatever, and then these metal metal ones are gonna have to be transferred over into here as well. Okay. Once once you get your uh, new shifter in, you're gonna take the shifter handle. You're gonna put the new bolts through through the hole. Make sure the serrated edge is matched up with the serrated edge on the lower sh shift stick. Use the supplied washers. You're gonna put these in, and then you're gonna use a seven thirty seconds hex hex uh, screw to tighten it down. Next step's gonna be to reattach your dust boot, and make sure you get this lower part right here that it <clears throat> stretches over the lip. Insert your your shifter knob. It's like a grommet down in here. Push it all the way down. You're gonna take your knob nut and you're gonna you're gonna screw it down. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get this down there. That way you can uh, put your shifter knob on. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this down here to the threads, and then when you get to the threads, you're gonna put the shifter knob on, get it lined up right, so like this, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna back this up onto the shifter knob. All right, got everything put together. Let's see how it feels. Oh yeah. Whoa. I was almost expecting the factory feel just out of habit, man. Yeah, the notchiness, without even driving, I can tell the notchiness is gone. And uh, way closer, yeah. Feels good. So I'm go, gonna go inside, I'm gonna eat, cause I haven't eaten in a while. Then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do a little test drive.